It was a mission three decades ago when we first learned there might be an ocean on Europa. And liftoff of Atlantis and the Galileo spacecraft bound for Jupiter. Earth orbit, 1989. The Galileo spacecraft launches from the space shuttle Atlantis. Target, Jupiter and its moons. Galileo, you lie its way to another world. It takes six years to reach its ultimate goal, becoming the first spacecraft to orbit a planet in the outer solar system. The Galileo spacecraft orbited Jupiter from 1995 until about 2003, and it had multiple close flybys of Europa, as well as the other Galilean satellites. Images taken by Galileo revealed a tortured and cracked exterior, with long linear fractures running hundreds of kilometers across the surface. This hinted at something intriguing beneath the ice. We know we have heat on Europa. We would not have that cracked surface otherwise. Images and magnetic field measurements painted a picture of a water world under the frozen crust. I mean, we're looking at water down there 60 miles deep. And it has been there for billions of years. There could be a massive ocean encased in an orb only as big as Earth's moon. But the Galileo data left more questions than answers. The data that we have from the Galileo mission is enough to be intriguing, but also frustrating. The Galileo spacecraft sent back all of its data bit by bit through its low gain antenna. It was revolutionary. There's just not enough of it. So we want to go back to Europa. Well, we've got to get back out there. 